everyone and welcome. This is Melissa Armo, the Stock Swishing and Reviewing Apple. It's up, it's up a lot. There's a couple observations I'm gonna make here before I review this particular stock. One is, uh, this is not really moving the market that much. I mean, I am shocked. The SPY closed at 300.81 and it is right there. It's like within five cents. The Q's close at 193.81, so that's up about 50 cents. Netflix is in the sector and that's not really being affected at all. Neither is Google and neither is Amazon. So it's very interesting because things have changed. Uh, actually, you know what, let's look at Facebook. Mm -hmm, I mean, Apple used to lift the whole market, move everything in the world. It's, it, it's not tonight, and it's up. I mean, it's, it's up fairly a lot. I mean, you can't say that it's not up. It's going to open up tomorrow. It's almost 5 o'clock. This is real. <clears throat> but I just, it's strange. Yeah, this is up like 30 cents. Wow. All right, let's talk about this. So as far as looking at this tomorrow, and again, Looking at this, I have the options letter. We do the day trades. There's nothing to do in this year right now. What I really need to see this do, uh, this is right now at this moment, this is not up enough. This is not up enough. If it would open, if it was 9.30 tomorrow morning, Wednesday, I wouldn't be doing anything with this. So that's the, that's the take on this. The only way I'm gonna be totally, totally, totally in love with this tomorrow as a trade that you could do yourself is if it's really over 225. Like over 225 immediately into the open, over it, opens over it, oh, into the open, 225. This is better if it's up more. I know that probably doesn't make any sense to people, but this is not up enough to be aggressive in to go long tomorrow. In fact, if this had opened here, this probably would fall. Because um, this has had a, a rally since here. I mean, I, I just, this is better if it's up more. And as far as needing the market, I feel that, I mean, we have so much going on, uh, so much reporting, but, you know, what, I just, I just can't believe this. I mean, I'm just surprised here. The market should be making new highs after hours here tonight with Apple up the way it is, and it's not. And that is bizarro world. I mean, 195.55, it's $1.20 away, and it's not gonna happen tonight. <clears throat> and Apple's up, you know, almost 10 points. So I, I'm, this is strange. Again, you know, we have the Fed coming out tomorrow if they're gonna lower interest rates or not, which the expectation is that they will. But I'm telling you right now, um, the QQQ should be making new highs tonight in the post market with the way that Apple's up, it's not. It could, it might tomorrow morning look different and this might look different too, um, but I would not be aggressive on this tomorrow if this was 9.30, which it's not, but you know, it's five o'clock. Five o'clock and 9.30 a.m. is a long time away, but this is rising, this is lifting, this is up, so I, I'm not in love with this right now, and I guess that's the point that I'm trying to make, and we'll see where it goes. So good luck, everyone, and I'm just going to have to rate the gap tomorrow morning. Way too soon to tell. But the one noticeable difference is the one thing that I absolutely see that I 100% think is bizarre is that this is barely moving the cues, and it isn't really moving the spy at all, and it isn't moving really anything in this sector, and that is odd to me. So be aware of it, and good luck. If you're interested in signing up for the Golden Gap course, the next class is August 10th and 11th. Email me at melissathestockswoosh.com.